So if it wasn't no human beings on this planet Earth for millions and thousands of years, just no humans. This whole planet Earth, all these buildings and this concrete and all this will be totally dis dissipated or disintegrated or dis it would just dis disappear or dissipate. It would just be trees and plants, fruits, vegetables. It would be a very beautiful green planet because people are doing so much stuff against the planet. If we really love the planet, we have to plant more trees, more plants, have more parks, you know, less less buildings that's that that's empty. It's as is a lot of the buildings on this planet Earth is empty. A lot of the buildings have a lot of rooms and it's empty. Then it's homeless people that don't got no place. But yet they got these big, beautiful, neat, nice, beautiful, tall buildings with many rooms. Are they just doing this out of vanity? It's some furniture that they will tell people they're not allowed to sit on. It's beautiful furniture. People want to sit on it and they say, you can't sit on this furniture. It's against the rules to sit on this furniture. You can't, you can't put nothing on this table. You can't sit on this furniture. They may even tell a person they can't sit in the park because they may have three, uh, they may have uh, three bags. So you can't sit in this park with three bags. You can't catch this bus with three bags. You can't come in this building with three bags. You know, a lot of different rules. Now they saying you can walk in the building with 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 uh without a COVID shot. You can now they saying you can not you don't have to wear the mask, but it's people that they use that mask as a security blanket now. They are holding on to their mask, they putting their mask on, they still wearing their mask. So even though it's people saying you don't have to wear the mask no more, them people like you say, I don't have to wear the mask no more. And they say, I'm not wearing the mask. So you don't have to wear the mask. It says that you, the rules is you don't have to wear the mask no more. They said, that's good for you. I'm still wearing the mask. Because they're still wearing the mask because the mask is now their security blanket. They're going to keep the mask on their face because they're traumatized. They're afraid and they're scared to take the mask off. So I met some guy. He's wearing a mask. Not only wearing a mask, he wearing two masks on his mouth. And then when we, and then I'm, I'm going to sit down and eat. He is eating with the mask on his face. Like he's like really afraid. And I'm like, you, you know that they say you don't have to wear the mask here. You know, he said, I don't know about America. I'm still wearing a mask. I'm wearing two masks and I got a bunch of masks in my pocket and I'm always got in it. And I'm like, wow. And this is what I was talking about with the previous video that I made. People are wanting to step up and actually rumble and fight because there's some people, it's a group of people saying, if you're wearing a mask, they want to fight you. Then it's a group of people saying, if you're not wearing a mask, they want to fight you. So how I do is I maneuver it. I, you know, I maneuver it. You know, I dance with it. So if I'm somewhere and they say you have to wear a mask, I just put the mask on my face. If they tell me you don't have to wear the mask, I take the mask off. But, you know, if I'm in a park somewhere where I'm, you know, or, or, or a beach and I'm just breathing in that, that beautiful air, then cool. I don't have to wear no mask because they say there's no rule. The rules is you don't have to wear no mask here. But if I'm somewhere, if I'm in a building and they say, you have to wear a mask, and I read the sign. I'm glad I can read. I read the sign. I put the mask on my mouth. If I forget, and then a, a guard or a military guard or a squat a military army man come up to me, a guard, and he says, uh, sir, you have to wear your mask, then I'll say, yes, sir. I'm 
I'm right, I'm right on it. I'm going to put the mask on my face. It might be a a building that uh, if the rules is very strict with the mask. But back to retrospect, it's people, they're so traumatized by that COVID event that they're wearing a mask and they're keeping the mask on in their house, in their living room. They even... They, they, I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if they even showering and bathing with a mask on their face. They're around their family with the mask on their face. They're in the house. They're in a household with a mask on their face. They're sleeping with a mask on their face. They're serious about the mask. The mask is their security blanket. That's what it is now. And... Now they're saying is other diseases and things, and pip, and, and then uh, people saying on the news that even the the shot the uh, the the certain shots can make the person ill and some people die from it. So I'm like, this is getting crazy, you know. People are holding on to that mask so tightly, you know. You know, so what I'm doing, I'm just praying for everybody. You know, I'm praying for everybody to be healthy mentally, physically, and spiritually because the this COVID uh, event is affecting a lot of people's health, mental health. If you're if you're stressed out, that can affect your immune system by being stressed out, being afraid. Oh. I'm scared to touch this. I'm scared to be around these people. I'm scared. And I'm coming to find out a lot of the homeless people didn't even get that COVID. I don't understand that. But I talked to a religious, spiritual person, and they said that that was divine intervention. God wrote that, decreed that for uh, those homeless people not to have the COVID. Because their immune systems are so strong because they're in the rain, sleet, the snow. They're in the uncomfortable conditions. Some of them be around dirt and uh, they be around other people that be coughing and sick. So their immune system got strong, so strong that they don't even have it. So... This is taking me out. And and right now, as I speak, I'm still seeing people walk around with masks on their face. And now I see some people take their mask off. But then as some people are arguing and quarreling, they quarreling at one another still about the mask. 